The problem a lot of marriages are having today is lack of information. I feel like the truth about marriage is not being put out there and a lot of information is not out there as to what it really takes to make a marriage work. And this has contributed in a lot of people getting into marriage and having that shock of what? Is this what it entails? And they just pull out. Hello guys, my name is Joy Eto. I am a blogger, a YouTuber and content creator in Lagos, Nigeria. Today I am going to be sharing with you what no one tells you about marriage do you really want to know the truth then keep watching welcome back guys i am starting this series of what no one tells you about i am going to be diving into lots and lots of topics and i'm starting it off with what no one tells you about marriage feel free to leave me what you would like me to talk about in the comment section and I'll definitely see how we can go about it. But today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you things that no one tells you about marriage, things that I got to learn about in marriage myself that I have never ever heard about or people don't talk about. Okay. This is my seventh year of being married. And in this seven years I have seen, I have heard, I have experienced a lot of things and all of these has gone in one way or the other to shaping how I go about my marriage. There's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of books on what to do, how to get married, but I feel like experience is the best teacher and people don't really tell the truth about how it is to be married and social media makes it worse. All you see is couple goals and couple goals here and there, but nobody is telling you the secret. A lot of people are dying in silence. A lot of people are enduring marriage instead of enjoying marriage. And this is not helping. So people tend to rush into marriage and rush out because what you thought you were going into, when you get into it, you're like, oh, I am not prepared for this. Today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you things I wish somebody had told me before I even got married, before I had to discover them myself. And the first thing is marriage is sacrifice. Forget all these fairy tales and love me, I love you talk. Marriage is sacrifice. It is, it is going to take everything from you. It is going to take you sacrificing everything about you, not just your time, not just you being with somebody else or whatever. It is going to take you sacrificing even your, your mind to make it work. Nobody told me about that. Nobody told me how much you would have to sacrifice yourself, sacrifice things that you like, like to sacrifice things that you desire. As a woman, it is even worse. You sacrifice your time, you sacrifice your life, you, sa you even sacrifice your career at some point because life happens in marriage and you discover, oh, I can't go on with this anymore. I can't go on with this anymore. And then you pause and you basically start living the married life. And this doesn't happen to men. Okay, a man has this idea of after marriage, I'm going to do my master's, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. They still go about doing everything that they planned out to do. But as a woman, it is difficult. It is even worse in this uh, African climb. There are so many things that you want to do, but the minute you're married, it's like, ah, you are not a married woman. What is wrong with you? What do you want to do? Ah, take it easy. You focus on your marriage. Make your home work. That statement, make your home work, I feel like that just encompasses the sacrifice that I'm talking about because it just boils down to you have to do everything as a woman to make your home work. If you complain, you are nagging. If you don't complain, you are enduring. Like, it is a lot. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be breaking it down. And in, and in no way am I, make, am I trying to make you scared. If you're watching this video and you are single, I am not trying to scare you, please. I'm just trying to be as honest as possible so you know the truth about what it really takes to make marriage work. Now, the second thing I am going to share is that people do not tell you how boring marriage can be. Mm -mm. They don't tell you that. It gets boring. You see the kisses, the hugs, even the sex, it gets boring. It gets tiring. If it doesn't get boring, why do you keep hearing people saying how to make the, how to reignite the fire, which means the fire died at some point. And then you had to start working on bringing it back. It gets boring. The routine, because marriage is a routine, right? You're living with this person. You're doing the same thing over and over and over again every day. It gets boring. It gets tiring. And you're trying, you're constantly trying to, 
evolve you're constantly trying to make sure that it is exciting which brings me to the third thing that people do not tell you about marriage is constant work jesus marriage is work Work, 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 work. You are working every day. You're working to ensure that the sex is good, is better than the last one. You're working to ensure that there is trust. You're working to ensure that the love doesn't die. You're working to ensure that there is friendship between you and your partner. It is so much work, but it is worth it when you're with the right person. And when one person is not, person is not the one doing all the work and doing all the sacrifices, it is definitely worth it. But it is a lot of work. You're constantly working. You're constantly trying to make sure that your marriage work, it is not a failure. Sorry guys, excuse the noise, but some trucks are passing through my compound. Rather, behind my compound and it's making a lot of noise. Anyway, what I was saying was, it is a lot of work. You're constantly working to make sure that everything is in tip-top shape. A lot of people believe that once you get married and after that wedding day, it is just fairy tale all the way. It is just sweet and everything just goes smoothly. And that's where the shock comes in because you now discover after the wedding that all of that is just the beginning like now is when you have to work now is when you have to do the things and then you're like oh I'm not prepared for this I can't be doing this and people tend to pull out that that's when reality hits you the wedding is just one part the dating and the courtship that's easy now sustaining all that stuff you guys were doing during the courtship is a lot waking up to the same person every day for the rest of your life <laughs> it is a lot dealing with bad breaths dealing with all sorts of characters and attitudes that you never thought of life hitting you and then the people bring out characters you've never seen about them you give back your body changes your partner changes responsibilities are loading it is a lot of work and people don't tell you this about marriage. They just make it seem like, oh, it's so easy. It's just love you. I love you. Kisses and all of that. As much as there's love me, I love you and kisses. That's not all it takes to make a marriage work. Now that brings me to my next point of what people do not tell you about marriage. Now, marriage is a spiritual entity. If you go into marriage without having a personal relationship with God, you are going to have a lot of issues because you will discover that the closer you are to God, the better your relationship with God, the better your marriage would be because you can easily take a lot of things to God in prayers. You can easily communicate a lot of things to God and get clearance on what to do. A lot of people do not tell you this. They don't tell you how important it is for you as an individual to be in tune with your, your spirit, to be in tune with God, your creator, and to be in tune with your personal being. Nobody tells you about this. We just care about the physical, but there's a lot more to marriage than just the physical. You being in tune with God would help you be calm in moments of trouble, in moments of turbulence. This is one thing that people do not tell you about. Now, another thing people don't tell you about that gets me crazy is that not all marriages are meant to last forever. You didn't see that coming, right? But that's the truth. Not all marriages are meant to last forever. So marriages will not work because you guys did not start from the right foundation. And it is okay. It is completely okay for you to get to a point where you realize I don't want to tag this person along further I don't want to punish myself for that this did not work let's end it you don't want to suffer shame but you endure years of pain you endure years of abuse and at the end you still leave so People don't tell you about, they make it seem like marriage is a do or die affair. It is not a do or die affair. Like my husband will always say, he believes in divorce. If tomorrow I'm like, oh, this is not working anymore. Instead of us killing ourselves and punishing ourselves or even our children, it is best to pull out. That brings me to another important part of marriage that people don't tell you about. Don't rush into kids. I know it seems like, what is Joy saying? Seriously, don't rush into kids. Like... The minute kids come into marriage, it changes the dynamics. It changes the relationship. It is no longer just you and your partner. You guys, excuse all the noise. People are like just noisy in my compound today. Excuse the noise, please. Okay. Now, the minute kids come into marriage, everything changes. 
everything a lot changes and people don't tell you about this which this is going to be my topic for the next what no one tells you about i'm going to be talking about what no one tells you about being a mother like that one is a whole topic on its own and i'm going to be dealing with it in the next video of this series okay now once children come into a marriage <laughs> it changes a lot of things it can it can create a distance it can create a gap between you and your partner if you are not careful and people don't tell you about this they just make it seem like get married and then the next thing to do is just start having babies as much as that is beautiful and shows that you are fruitful it might not be the best for you it might not work out for you you might need a couple of years to enjoy being together and talk to your partners about it. I've seen some couples that are not in a hurry to start having babies, but one partner is like, ah, no, I don't want people to start putting pressure on me. I must start having babies. And then the other person is not. The other person actually wants to like enjoy this union a bit before they start bringing children into it. But because you don't want to offend your partner, you give into it and then it starts building resentment. Which brings me to my next topic or rather my next point of what people do not tell you about marriage nobody tells you how much forgiveness you would have to do every day to keep your marriage working you realize that you're getting married to somebody you're living with somebody that is from a different maybe a different tribe from you a different tradition grew up in a different family background didn't have the same trainings that you do they have their own life. Now, you're coming together to be one. These people are, are going to bring out all sorts of characters. You're going to need to do a lot of forgiveness, a lot of maturity for this marriage to work. But nobody tells you about that. If you're not ready to forgive, if you're being carried away by what you see on social media or what somebody comes out to tell you, oh, my, my husband did this, my wife did that, and that is the end, and you think that is a standard for you, you're not even ready that that's like another point nobody tells you that you don't compare your relationship with another person they tell you go and make your home work but in this day of social media like it is so hard right you see people flaunting their relationships and saying all sorts of things about their relationship but one thing i always tell people is that social media is make believe i will only allow you see what i want you to see what i i need you to see not what the truth is not everybody shares their truth so you don't compare your marriage with another person's marriage you don't put you don't wash your dirty linens outside okay that's one thing another person people don't tell you and i'm going to be ending it here one thing i see that a lot of people don't talk about in marriage is when you are angry with your spouse when you have issues with your spouse what do you do you deal it out with your spouse you don't you don't talk about it with somebody else like you don't bring another person into it on unless it is very very important now this is very very like tricky depending on the kind of partner that you have and depending on the kind of issue that you have if you have the kind of issue that you feel oh i need somebody to talk to this person about i've had issues where i just had to talk to somebody because i needed a different person to tell me i wasn't crazy okay there are issues like that that you need to bring out but most of the time what they don't tell you is don't run back to your family and start telling them because if you have issues with your husband today and you run to your mother or your sister and you tell them what your husband did you are going to forgive your husband you're going to forget you're going to live as one but guess what your 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 mother or your sister that you told are not going to forget that they're going to keep pushing that in front of your partner or treating your partner a certain way based on the information that you gave them and that is detrimental to your relationship it is detrimental to your family and i said i was going to be ending it there just now but i'm just going to give this final tip that nobody tells you about marriage you guys differentiate between your family and your family this is important. In Africa, we feel like, oh, once you're married, you're married to the family, everybody just goes. Everybody doesn't go. You need to learn how to put your family in one side and then your family in another side. It is important that you strike a difference and you know where to, where to, where to put the boundaries. It is so, so important. Like things that your, your family should not do to your partner and things that his family should not do to you. It is important that you draw the line because sometimes the reason most marriages are breaking up is interference from family members or you allowing your family to interfere in your relationship without necessarily seeing it as 
oh it's a problem you just feel it is normal my mom wants the best for us or my dad wants the best for us but you're not thinking about your partner as a person you're not thinking about you and your partner as one and that is important once you get married like the bible says you leave your father and your mother you cleave to become one so when you're making decisions when you want to take the next step it is with your partner in mind you put this person in mind and then you take decisions like that it is you guys people do not people don't talk about this like hey god people don't tell you it is you and your partner you are going to do this life together you are going to walk this life together you have to be intentional like guys that that is the major thing about marriage that nobody tells you about if you want the good out of your marriage if you want your marriage to be the best if you want couple goals out of your marriage you have to be intentional just the same way you are going to be intentional about what clothes you wear and how you look for a certain picture so that it comes out looking oh yes these couples are on point that's the same way you have to be intentional about everything that has to do about your marriage if you want the sex to be bomb hey you will have to be intentional you have to create time you have to do everything it takes for the sex to not go whack if you want your your relationship your trust issues to be the best you will have to work on your trust you have to be that is the biggest lesson i feel like marriage has, has taught me being intentional about everything you have to be intentional about everything whatever you desire for your marriage it is possible but how much work are you ready to put into it how intentional are you about these things becoming a reality in your home everything that you see in other marriages that you that you want to emulate everything that you see in other marriages that you end let me not use the word envy because envy is bad but basically everything that you see in other marriages that you wish happened for you how ready are you to do the work that will bring them to pass how ready are you to to do what it takes to bring it to pass they don't happen overnight they don't happen because you have said vows and you're wearing a wedding band they happen because you are intentional they happen because you are constantly doing stuff to make it work every day every night everything you do is intentional have you stopped sending text messages to let them know that you love them just because you see them every day have you stopped complimenting their looks the minute you stop that somebody's going to compliment it outside have you stopped discussing what makes you feel good what makes you feel bad everything you have to you have to be intentional about it you have to communicate i feel like this word is like flogged too long but you have to communicate communication means to me saying it putting it out there even if it's going to cause a quarrel because the quarrel is going to help you heal it's going to help you understand your partner better so don't be scared of it is going to cause a quarrel they're not going to understand me if they don't understand you who will understand you if you don't tell them the truth who will you tell the truth if you don't tell them how to touch you how to treat you right how to be your partner who are you going to tell because you want to at the end of the day sit back and be like i did my part i i i played my role i did everything i was able to do i crossed my i i you know i dotted my eyes and i crossed my t's that is what you want you don't want to sit back and be like mm, i didn't really open up too well marriage is work marriage is a lot of work and these are things i feel like people do not talk about couples don't come out to share it with you about how much how intentional they are about their marriages and this is why people get in and they're expecting a certain magic to happen but it doesn't happen they get frustrated and then that's the end of the marriage marriage is beautiful marriage is wonderful marriage is created and made by god for us to enjoy for us to live and not to endure okay and this is why i'm sharing these truths please let me know which of the tips that you have experienced in your marriage or how this particular video has helped you like i said the next video on this series will be what no one tells you about motherhood share with me what you have experienced in motherhood and marriage that's that shocked you okay and of course please 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 subscribe to this channel click the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you will never miss my videos because videos are coming out bass 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 in every corner i'm just going to be hitting you guys with content on every side did i forget follow me on instagram a lot of content goes down there a lot happens there we can always interact there as well thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye